Welcome to the channel, all you newcomers, and to my militia members and degenerates. Welcome back. So I wanted to do something a little different from my usual talky talk of firearms and gear, and instead, on where you can use them in a safe environment and where to buy them. So in this distance, it's going to be the former. Today I'll be covering one of 12 public firing ranges that we have here in the state of Florida that is maintained by the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission and was built with the cooperation of the United States Forest Service. This of course being the Ocala Public Shooting Range in, of course, the Ocala National Forest. So enough of looking at my Ming mug, let's get right into it. The Ocala Shooting Range is just about an hour and 15 minute drive from the North Orlando area. If you live south of Sand Lake Road, then I would suggest going to the Triple N Ranch Shooting Range east of St. Cloud for your activities, but there are some caveats that I'll touch on later in this video. What we're looking at right here is the main road that gets you to the range. When you're getting to this area, the road will come up fast if you're not paying attention, so slow down on the road because you'll miss it. And of course, showing you the sign of the Ocala Public Shooting Range, right there. Now the driveway into the parking lot is made of dirt and it will flood, so if you don't have a 4x4 pickup, then you best be careful going around the puddle. And if you're planning on showing up on Wednesday in the early morning, then I would suggest going later or Pick another day since the Florida Fish and Wildlife have it closed till 2 for weekly cleaning and maintenance. Showing you the bear proof trash cans, so if you want to eat or drink, throw your trash in these cans. As you walk in you'll see this big bulletin board going over all the rules and regulations on how to use this range, but this is one of two ranges that are not supervised by an RSO or range safety officer. The rest of them have to not only go for a safety brief, but pay for the respective range fees as well. Over at the shotgun pad, you do have benches to watch your party shoot and launch clay pigeons. The area does have two gun racks to place your shotguns while you wait, but otherwise there's not, not much else to say. The rules are also posted on the shotgun pad as well. Then of course showing you the two shotgun racks that you have. Walking over to the main range you can see the firing line that goes all the way to 100 yards. For all 12 of the stations, they are fitted with uh, different amenities, like a pull-out seat if you want to go for precision, and they go up accordingly. Unfortunately for me, I picked number one as my station, so it was just a place to lay my firearms on at the firing line. Alright, walking over to my station, and at this point now I'm giving y'all a look downrange and showing you how far the target can go. And for anybody that has any safety concerns, that is a big ass berm that you're going to be shooting into. Even with ricochets that kick off of the concrete to the walkways to the targets, we never had any issues of any such safety concerns. This range does have vault bathrooms, but I would suggest bringing your own toilet paper and wet wipes if you really need to use them. Overall, my experience with this range was really good, even when it was a 4th of July weekend in 2022. There were other people there at the range, but we were all courteous with each other, and when we wanted to go cold range, nobody complained, especially during this hot summer day in Central Florida. This is definitely a range I recommend if you want to go in an outdoor shooting range without the bustle of going to a club and paying their fees to shoot 
and follow their range rules. But this may or may not be the place to teach new shooters if you come during a busy holiday weekend or just a regular weekend. I would think that during the weekdays it won't be that busy, but just be ready if it is busy. Also, in a light political opinion, shooting rangers like these are an appropriate use of our tax money at work and benefiting us in the long run. Rangers like this help promote the American way of life. Anything else that doesn't give back to us is a waste of our money. But otherwise, I hope you found this video useful for your first range trip out to the Alcala National Forest. After screening other videos on YouTube, there was never a proper overview of this place, and I hope this helped you all out. So, anyway, I have been the man in the Molly Vest. It's time to gear up for the next video, and I'll see all you fellow militia members and degenerates on the front lines. Just too short and too skinny.